Welcome to Olomouc, the historical capital city of Moravia. Today it's the sixth largest city in the Czech Republic. Let's just wander over and have a look at Olomouc's Halabny Nadraži. The station that we can see now was completed in 1936. I certainly love this um, early 20th century modernist styling. But let's head across the tram lines and pop inside the main station concourse because there is quite a little treat to be found inside. In the communist era, the station concourse was, shall we say, improved by addition of a socialist realist mural in 1960. The idea of socialist realism was to create images that were idealising the proletariat, mixing both classical and modern imagery together. Uh, my rather poor translation of the writing across the bottom would read The region flourishes, my beloved land, when workers and farmers share their creativity. Heady stuff, eh? Anyway, the station was further redeveloped in 2009 and now, as you can see on my right, there's a shiny modern staffed ticket hall. There's a small first-class lounge as well and at the end of the corridor is a pizza place with the local young people already enjoying pizza slices at 08.15 on a Sunday morning. Today I'm going to take a Rickley train and that's going to go uh, up to Kurnoff. Uh, it's uh, cutting right across the centre of the Czech Republic and uh, I'm really looking forward to a route that's not really been certainly on my YouTube feed very much if at all so uh, yeah I'm looking forward to a different kind of journey. Well, before I came, I was aware that uh, Olomos was uh, a home for some of the older Chesky Drahi stock. And then I arrive at Olomos and uh, a class 460 just uh, slides into the platform. I'm sure some people that like trains would refer to it as a wonderful old stager and the people in Olomos would say the crappy old trains I wish they'd get rid of. So, you know, each to his own. But yeah, it's a beautiful Sunday morning here in uh, in the Czech Republic. So yeah, I'm looking forward to my ride up to Kurnoff and uh, we'll see how it goes, eh? Well, while that guy's been waffling, our train has actually come in. So I think we should just head over onto the platform and have a look at our ride for today. So we've just got two coaches on our train this morning. Our one hour 45 ride to Kurnoff will be in the company of a Class 843 diesel rail car pulling a driving trailer. So let's hop on board and see what this regional fast service has to offer. And first impressions are that it's quite comfortable actually. As you'd expect on second class, seats are in a 2 plus 2 configuration and they're all facing each other. There's a decent headrest though and luggage space above. There's a small bin and uh, I suppose it can act as a tiny table as well and there's a wonderfully retro coat hook available as well if you wish. Anyway, we're off. Olomouc is well connected for mainline train services with many trains running north to Pardubice and on to Praha. Trains also carry on east to Ostrava and from there on to Slovakia and Poland and there's also services along to Bruno. But we'll be having none of that on our little regional train. We soon peel away from the electrified line onto our smaller branch line off to Kurnoff. Beyond Lobotchki, it really doesn't take long before this becomes a very, very pretty ride. I've also noticed that the seat pads can be folded up, so that certainly gives a lot of extra space if you've got any more equipment and things. 
and now there's nothing for it but just to kick back and enjoy the views of the valley as we slowly climb. Well that sure looks like somewhere I'd like to camp. Domashov station looks absolutely wonderful, has a really lovely alpine feel to it. Nice to see some maintenance work at the station at Moravsky Baron. But all in all, I think the whole line has got excellent stations and they, they do look lovely. Dietrichov is where the railway will part ways with the river as we've reached the high point of our journey and we'll now start to climb down the other side on our way into Kurnoff. Bruntal is the largest conurbation on the route. In the 19th century, Bruntal was home to many textile factories, with the railway coming along to the town in 1872. Certainly a very proud town to have a railway station quite so grand as this. Well, it's not long before we get to Kurnov, so let's have a closer look at what we've got in this driving trailer. Well, those flip-up seats, they cunningly convert into cycle racks. Mm. Honestly, I know I pull a face and it does look a bit grim, but everything did actually work okay in this toilet. There are more bike racks to be found in the vestibule. And the signage for Odis relates to the integrated transport system for Moravia Silesia, which covers the bus, tram and train network throughout the region. So as we arrive at Kernoff, let's just have a look at what this all cost. 
Well, an all muck to kern off adult single was just 115 Czech Karuna, which is £4 or €4.65. And in my opinion, that is excellent value for a 1 hour 45 minute ride through this beautiful Czech countryside. So here we are at Kernoff. I release a new video every week and there'll be more content coming from this trip to the Czech Republic. So please, if you enjoyed the video, give it a like and subscribe for more trips just like this. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you next time.